Previously, we talked about the amount of heat it would take to change the temperature of a substance, okay? But that's not the only thing that heat can do. Um, and it's not the only thing that it will do. Sometimes you add heat and the temperature of the substance does not change. This happens when the object is going through a phase change, okay? So heat can be used to change the phase instead of the temperature. When this is happening, we call this latent heat, okay? So latent heat is the heat is an object's resistance to change its phase, okay? So some objects are going to want to stay a solid more than others. It'll take more heat, more energy to change their phase, okay? So this is dependent upon the substance, okay? Now, there are two types here. You look, the latent heat of fusion, okay? This is the amount of heat it takes to turn a specific substance from a solid into a li liquid, if you're adding the heat, or the amount of heat that needs to be removed if you're going from a liquid to a solid, okay? Um, so this is happening when objects are melting, okay, if we're adding the heat, or when they are freezing if the heat is being removed, okay? That's not the only phase change though, okay? We also could melt, or uh, sorry, we could also boil, okay, or condense, all right? And that would be the latent heat of vaporization. When the object is going from a liquid to a gas, so we're adding heat, or if it's going from a gas to a liquid and we're removing heat, okay? So this is used when we are boiling, if we're adding the heat, um, or when it is condensing, if there's heat being removed, okay? So we've got a couple of different things here. The equation, okay? Heat, remember heat is Q, heat is equal to the mass times the latent heat. And you have to decide, okay, is it melting? If it's melting, that means we're adding heat and it's the latent heat of fusion. We're taking it from a solid to a liquid, okay? Um, if it is condensing, if it's going from a gas back into a liquid, okay, then we need to use the latent heat of vaporization. And if it's going from a gas back to a liquid, then we are removing heat, okay? So it's this equation, but you have to determine which latent heat to use, and you have to determine if it's positive, if heat's being added, or if it's negative when heat is being removed, okay? So you have to think a little bit with this equation. The units are joules per kilogram. So let's just give you an example here. All right, let's look at water. Water has a latent heat of fusion of 333,000 joules per kilogram. So what this means is that if I want, if I have an ice cube, and I want to melt it, okay? I need to add heat, and I need to add 333,000 joules for every kilogram that I have. So if I have one kilogram, I need 333,000 joules. Two kilograms, 666,000 joules, and so on and so forth, okay? Similarly, if after I'm done melting it, okay, at some point I've got just some water there, and I want to vaporize that water, I want it to change it into steam, okay, then what I need to do is I need to add 2,260,000 joules for every kilogram, okay? So if I want to turn that liquid water into a gas, I will need this much energy. That's a lot of energy. Look at the difference. It's significant. Why is it so different? Well, when it's water, pretend it's in this container, okay, it's just hanging out there. When I vaporize it, let's say it's going to stay in the container, it's going to fill up this entire container, okay, because that's what a gas does, it expands. And when it expands, it has to defy gravity. It's got to get up here into this space, okay, and defy gravity, whereas where it's water, it's sitting there right in the bottom. Okay, so it's going to take a lot more heat to vaporize something than it's going to take to melt it. One last note here is some vocabulary, okay? You might hear this at some point or read it, okay? 
If heat is being added, it's positive, and we call that an endothermic process. Okay, you can think of that with the prefix there, en. Heat is entering the system. Okay, another vocab word for you: if heat. It's negative when heat is removed. We call that an exothermic process. And think of that as being heat is exiting the system. Okay. So just a little vocabulary that you may encounter.